C'est bon So, thank you very much uh, for inviting us. And it's nice to be with you, with all of you. Uh, I am François Moreau. Uh, I work in the... I work in the Ministère de l'Agriculture et de l'Alimentation, the Agriculture and Food Ministry in France. What is it? It's the government, de, the government department which is in charge of agriculture, food and food safety, forestry, fisheries, and some other things, but mostly uh, those ones. So in this uh, minister, I am the chief data officer. That's, uh, that's a new function. I, I, I am the first one, and I've been in this uh, function for two years. So it, it says everything. It says we, it's, a, it's an issue for us, and it's a new issue for us. <laughs> <laughs> so the, the ministry has uh, a lot of data that, it's, that he collects in uh, many ways. For the CAP, we, all the data that uh, farmers give for CAP subsidies are data that we have got. Well, one agency of the ministry has got it, but we have got them. We have all the data about uh, safety, about traceability of uh, cattle, and so on, uh, and many other ones. So, as a chief data officer, I've got two main objectives. The first one is, uh, I would say, an internal one. We, we, are, we are working uh, on it. We try to make that our data, the ta our data, they are not ours. They are data that we detain because we uh, access, we, we make uh, uh, public service actions. Well, those data, we try to uh, use them in our work in, uh, in the objective to be more efficient and to be more friendly with the, the stakeholders, the citizens, the enterprises, everybody. An example, uh, an obvious one is we try to, to think of uh, how to implement TELUS once. Well, TELUS once, we have implemented it in uh, many uh, easy, obvious subjects. We don't ask people uh, their uh, taxes, uh, justifications, or, or so on. But we also have very more specific to agriculture or, or other sectors uh, that ask that we have to work not to ask them uh, many times. One, one example which we have yet done is uh, the example of CIP, in CIP we have a, uh, an action which is helping people who have cattle, um, troupeau, I don't know, uh, cattle herd. When I began working, we asked every farmer to make the list of every herd and uh, to make a, photo a copy of every passport of every herd and in the office, we had to match passport to the list and to enter the list. So it was tremendous for the farmers and for us. No, because there is traceability of the cattle, the only thing which happens is the farmer uh, check a checkbox saying, I want to have that subsidy. And we have, by uh, not I pay, by uh, tra transfer of files, uh, it's, it's not technologically <laughs> uh, optimis optimized, but uh, functionally it works. Uh, everything is made by exchanges between the database of traceability and the tools for CIP uh, processes. And we, we try to make it more and uh, to identify where those sort of things can be done and to implement it progressively. Well, that's not, in fact, the objective we want to speak today. It's the second one which is important. We also want to have an external valorization 
of that data, with, of those data, with the idea that we are in charge, in fact, not only to uh, implement processes uh, for uh, 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 giving authorization, giving subsidies. Uh, no, we are in charge of uh, public policies. And those public policies may be led by, uh, by the public authorities, but implemented by many other stakeholders. So how can we help everyone in uh, order to uh, achieve successes in our public policies? That's the second issues I'm working, um, I'm working. So first, uh, first thing, uh, we, we have got, of course we have got open data, which is uh, the consequence not only, but uh, mostly of the previous uh, public sector information directive. And we implemented it, not perfectly, but really mostly. And that means we have, uh, in France, there are portals, data.gouv.fr uh, portal where uh, public authorities put their, their data and API where, where there are some few, few API to access them uh, because on data.gouv there are uh, file downloadable, down, downloadable files. So, and uh, there we have got uh, more or less 400 data sets from the ministry. So we made, we made job, we made work with it. Uh, we also have some specific websites one of uh, them is important, it's a website for uh, giving access to the statistical data. Another one, uh, it's Agrest. Another one, which is uh, um, made by an agency of the ministry, which name is France Agrimaire, uh, gives uh, information about uh, the agriculture product markets. Uh, maybe there are others. But that doesn't go to the end of the, of the way. Because uh, the uh, data that we published, uh, they, have, they are not all the data. We cannot publish, and, and I think we really cannot, it's not a uh, uh, legal issue, but it's also, uh, also an, an ethic one. Uh, we cannot publish, publish uh, data which uh, show privacy issues, personal privacy issues. We cannot publish data which, uh, which shows uh, business confidential issues. So it's a problem because when you think of agriculture data, well, we, we call of farmers and we call of farm enterprises. So most of our data cannot be published as they, we have them. That doesn't mean they, have not, they are not relevant for making policies, for achieving issues, but we cannot publish them as they are. That is, uh, that is the question. And another point I, I yet have told it, told it uh, we, we publish data, but very few of them as API. So they are accessible, but not uh, so easy to, to use by uh, some people. So, we have, in some cases, in some use cases, uh, by ourselves, thought we, how can we go one step beyond? And one example is uh, Alim Confiance. Alim Confiance would, would be a food trust, maybe. And uh, Alim Confiance, in fact, we, we thought that it was uh, useful for the consumer to know as indicators, not in, not in the details, but to know uh, as a, an indicator level uh, what was the results of sanitary inspections in restaurants uh, and, and so on, where, where he will uh, buy things. And so we uh, made it and we made it by ourselves. But it's only a part of the subject and we are not very uh, confident in the fact that we are able to prioritize 
to identify the most valuable data that we have to we have to work on because even that we had to decide what in the plenty of data that are collected in inspection can be shown are useful are, so it's it, it's really is a, a big piece of work to to think about that so what we thought and it's uh, uh, it's that we have uh, we need in fact uh, public authorities we need uh, to work with other people to know to identify what are the specific needs of the regulators and we need that to prioritize the what we will do and what data will uh, be pre uh, on what uh, data publishing we will make the few few as anybody resources that we have and uh, something uh, which is important I, I told it about uh, uh, in confiance but it's uh, always true uh, data which can be published as they are are mostly yet published the problems that we want to address is data that could be useful but have to be transformed to be useful so for doing that we thought that it is very important to work with uh, the stakeholders and working with the stakeholders is not so so obvious because uh, there are so so many so we have the chance that in france the agricultural stakeholders are organizing and we are beginning it's, it's what i show you is uh, what we show you is the, is a beginning we are we beginning to elaborate a partnership in the objectives that i uh, told and i will let theopol explain you how they organize hi hello everyone my name is Theopol Asbrook. Uh, I'm product manager at API Agro. So we, who are we at API Agro? Uh, we were issued from a research project funded by the French Ministry of Agriculture five years ago. And it was a two years research project. It's very quick and fast for research. Um, and at the end of the project, uh, there is a huge interest of all the stakeholders, uh, at least in French, to go further than just this project and to go further together to build a company to really structures that are exchanged between all the stakeholders. So now we are a consortium of private and public organisms. We have organisms uh, from the Technical Institute, Applied Research, uh, Chamber of Agriculture, which are development uh, organisms, but also some private companies uh, in stakeholders, uh, which is in livestock and crops. And we cover all economic channels uh, in France. We have a national approach, but uh, we are uh, talking with other European countries to see how we can uh, favor uh, data exchange between the countries. And we also have an ethic committee to ensure fair access to the world ecosystem. And we don't have uh, people that keep data or uh, don't allow others to, to have access to it. I would like to present you this uh, schema, which is a value data chain for us at API Agro. When you have, this, uh, you have a farm and exploitation, when you have IoT softwares, when we have collect uh, data from the farmers and if you have you can also get the farmer agreement when you are collecting the data then you have to clean the data to store them to transform them or to do normalization standardization of the data and if you want to expose them uh, you will need a tool to do this to be the link between the collectors and uh, the reusers of this to do softwares and have end users uh, for application for farmers, technicians, traceability for the world sectors and consumer. So what we are at API Agro is really the link between uh, the providers and the reusers uh, with a clear tool and platform to do the link. 
So our solution is a main French data exchange platform for the agricultural sectors. Our goal is really to structure and coordinate the flow of information between all the stakeholders. In France, at least, uh, there's many, 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 many organisms. Uh, we have a little data from the farmers. So if we, need, if we want to access to many data, we need to access to many databases uh, with our API or flat files. But you have to, you need a tool to see what is existing, how can you can access to it, what is the legal condition, what you can do with it, and uh, all the commercial. So what this is the main goal of our platform, to really uh, gather the community among the same tool and exchange to see what are data available and how we can access to it. So this is a view of our tool, which is mainly a catalog when you can see all the companies who are involved in this initiative on the data and offers of data you can have. But to step back on our partnership with the French Ministry of Agriculture, have we gathered all the community on a platform of data? The first question we have when we are talking about this platform is, what are the data I can have? What do you have in your catalog? This is the first one. And then, OK, I need that. And that's why we are talking with the French Ministry of Agriculture, is because um, we're talking with all our stakeholders. We have uh, an overview of what are the needs of the data from private, from public, and we collect these needs. And we have some issue, for example, I cannot have easily access to historical yields with uh, existing tools of public agency, for example. So this is some question. Are the tools appropriate for this use? How can we change existing tools to favor the access to the data? Should we develop new tools or new protocols, for example, API? And this is the kind of question and needs we are uh, giving to the French ministry. Farmers need to input in so many tools, uh, at least their plots, their crops, and, uh, oh, that's a good thing. They already declare it every year for the CAP. So how can we get the data, at least from the French ministry, and give it back to other software editors? They can just say, OK, you already told it, so we can use it. Uh, but uh, we have to so many technical issues on this, especially how we can handle farmer agreement to make it possible. Other things, it's uh, I would like to help people to consume local organic food. We have people to say, okay, I want to do this, so where are the data to do it? And you have, for example, um, a website where we gather all the farmers who are doing organic food, but you can have access on API. You say, okay, this is my coordinate. I want in a 30 kilometers uh, perimeter all the farmers who are doing organic local food. We don't have it. And it could be very useful because we already have all the information with uh, all the address and uh, cities. So we can do geolocalization and have access. But uh, we have maybe business issue. We, we, there are some, uh, some needs we have to, to work on. So this is how we work with the French Ministry of Agriculture. So we first collect the need from the Actec community. Uh, then we go to meetings together I a joint initiative to meet, it, to meet the public agencies, explain what are the needs from the users, the reusers, and together we are looking for a solution. Then the public agency do is feasibility studies. What, what can I do? And sometimes they cannot do because uh, they have constraints. But if they can, then we go to the implementation of the selected solution. And then we have to disseminate to the whole ecosystem. We already as a communication support to all the people who need the data, say, OK, data are available. There are FPIs, there are legal uh, aspects, very clear. You can go on. So this is how we work with the French ministry on some issue I talked uh, about. And now I will let Francois doing the wrapping up. Maybe I shall. Uh make a great precision. We're working together, but API Agro has no exclusivity, no right for working with us. They are interested in uh, 
opening data, making all the necessary for data to be open to have the catalog more complete. We are interested to uh, know what data sets are interesting to, well, to be useful to, to, to the farmers, we see, which is our jobs, <laughs> of course. But we don't give any exclusivity when we make the job to open data, it's open for everybody. Nobody has to use API Agro to uh, access that, those data because they are public data, they are not API Agro. Well, that's, and that's why uh, we, we can say what is written here. Uh, we, we think that valorization of public data uh, can go further than uh, publication of uh, open data, which can be uh, open directly because there are many uh, secret data that has to be worked on before it and are used, of use. And we think to do that, a win-win collaboration is uh, it's possible, it's very fruitful, but it's, it's not uh, a collaboration with any uh, type of uh, private uh, company. It's a collaboration with a company whose objectives are not to have an appropriation of the data, but whose objectives are to uh, facilitate the sharing of data between uh, between every uh, every stakeholders. So that uh, that is very important. The API Agro is has no exclusivity, but many companies wouldn't agree with the conditions we put to work with them. We are we are open to work with other companies in in other sectors or, or even in the sector, but at the very same conditions, no exclusivity. And uh, what is uh, uh, important uh, is that that collaboration in our mind is uh, obviously essential to uh, to target the needs that exist in uh, in the stakeholders and to prioritize the the use the use of our resources to open data and choose the order. I, I will say, of course, the new uh, public sector uh, information directive will identify high value data sets that must have uh, API and so on, and it will be of great use. But we think some bottom-up bottom -up identification is also interesting. Yeah, Francois said, we are not exclusive, we are just um, gathering a community. We are a private company, but uh, our goal is not to make so much money uh, on this, but rather to really focus and defend farmers' rights. And farmers have many fears about data, data use, and things like that. And um, our uh, community is an answer uh, for the farmer use in France about this. That's why we work with the French ministry, and we, we know the really try to do things. Uh, we are not just saying, oh, you are not opening data and uh, you, you are bad people and things like that. I know they are trying hard and we really try to support them in order to say, okay, we are needs existing a specific on this one, this one, this one, how we can work together to answer the needs of our community. That's it. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much. That was very interesting, and I think we have questions. Hi, thank you for presenting your, your work together. Um, my name is Gianfranco. Uh, I run uh, one of the two projects that uh, Dietmar has been naming earlier, the Support Center for Data Sharing. And we interviewed a similar companies to yours, um, uh, Agri Acro, but in the Netherlands, that is called Join Data. Uh, it's a different model, and I would like, in a way, to, to check with you what you like and what you don't don't like or differences. So in the Netherlands case, for example, they decided not to work with government, which is an interesting choice. Uh, what would you say of your uh, interesting couple <laughs> uh, is the strength and the weaknesses, perhaps, of working together? 
Well, I, I think there, there are, well, first, uh, just uh, we, we had, uh, we have, of course, we have uh, sometimes contacts with other governments, and uh, I, I had contacts with the uh, Netherlands government, and they, well, they work uh, together enough for, <laughs> for making me meet those uh, those John data uh, shares so they are, they are not uh, uh, first <laughs> there, there are things that uh, I think may be uh, important I, I didn't speak of it and uh, to Paul neither but which are important is that what API agro work about it's a very huge set of data some of them few of them in fact they are interesting, but few of them are public ones, and most of them are not public ones. And there is legal differences uh, between uh, public and non-public data. So we, in, in my mind, in, uh, uh, the work of, uh, that IPA Agro is making cannot be made by a public authority. And uh, if uh, that is the, what the Netherlands uh, farmers think, well, we think the very same thing. And I heard about joint data, data hub, and other initiative at European scale. Uh, we are working together in the H2020 project, so we know them well, but we have to go further to really know what are our difference and the same kinds. Um, as Francois said, we are really gathering a communities of private, public companies who are exchanging data. So we don't have only data from public or just open data. We can have monetization of data or ac monetization of access to algorithms, decision support system, things like that. And we are really here to say, okay, we are have we have public data. Some are our data gov that fr, some are API that gov that fr. But if we need to have an overview of all agricultural data, we need to get them in this catalog also. That's why we are working with the French Ministry to really have a complete overview, or the most exhaustive one, uh, overview of data from the agricultural sectors uh, on API Go, which is really focused about agricultural and agro-food industries. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you. Oh, yes. Quickly, because we're on time, so let's stay on time. Sure, very quickly. Many, many thanks for this absolutely amazing <laughs> presentation. I think that everybody would agree that the business models that were actually presented and the business opportunities that were presented right just now, I think it was a high point in API days, at least so far. Uh, you know, how public sector data can actually create new businesses, can link businesses, can actually have... Uh, a lot of effects on farmers, on the primary generator, and on the aggregation. This was absolutely, absolutely fascinating. So I keep the point that you mentioned about an ethical committee on what exactly, on what kind of data you're going to decide to diffuse or not. Can you please, in two phrases, expand on this? Thank you. The ethical committee is just here to ensure that if you have providers that are sharing data to some other partners, all have the same rules to have access to the catalogs and all the data which are public and things like that. So we, the, hit, the ethical committee is also um, the meeting point with uh, all to, to handle and manage all legal issues we may have with data. For like farmer cons uh, farmer arguments and things like that. So this is their job to do recommendation and then to implement in our solution the recommendation of our ethical committee. Thank you very much. That was very interesting. And I would have questions too, so I, I guess we'll talk. Because <laughs> uh, we are on time, so let's keep on track. Thank you very much. Um,